This is the ETBU Sports Net. We're here with head men's tennis coach Jeff Bramlett. Coach, last week you started off the season 0-2 here at home. Two really hard matches with Harden Simmons in, in the conference, but doesn't count as a conference match because they're on the west side. And then also taking on McMurray, transitioning to Division Three. Uh, talk about those matches first. Harden Simmons was a, was a close match. Or your second match against it's, uh, against uh, McMurray was a little bit harder. But recap those matches for us. Oh boy, it was. Uh, we just came out uh, hidden in all cylinders. I think we uh, caught them a little bit uh, on, on their heels a little bit. They're one of the better teams in the regions, and uh, we uh, we jumped out on them um, just real fast at number one boys doubles, got off to an early lead, uh, got off to an early lead in all three doubles, as a matter of fact, and uh, we closed out the, uh, we closed out number two boys doubles and three boys doubles, pulled off of big upsets in those matches, as, as a matter of fact. Weren't able c quite to pull it off at the, at the one doubles, um, but they made a big, big point there. Jumped out into the singles, and uh, maintained that lead. We were up 3-1, as a matter of fact, in the singles. We won the first set in Ryan Pierce's match, uh, Dylan Deathridge's match, Cody Highsmith's match. We were up 5-2 in the second set with uh, Ryan Pierce. We were, we were serving for it twice, as a matter of fact. And uh, uh, Harden Simmons hit maybe the, one of the best shots I've seen this year. We had an overhead that he uh, hit into the, into his face, and and he just he just, he just turned and put his racket up, and it went off his racket for a winner, and it just it just completely turned the match around. Uh, Cody almost made a great comeback in the third set, just wasn't quite able to pull it out. And then uh, Dylan had ended up playing a, a super tiebreaker and lost in a close super tiebreaker in the third set. So so we ended up losing the, the match 6-3, but we, we really had it within our grasp. And even even though we lost the match, it, it felt like a, it felt like a win for us, for us to have so many freshmen out on the on the court like that. Um, you know, it was an all freshman lineup, one sophomore, and then the only senior we had was was Tyler at the number one boys single. So so we 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 were quite pleased with with that performance. We really were. This week, you host Centenary on Friday and then Dallas Baptist, a Division II team, on Saturday. Talk about, you know, your schedule and scheduling hard matches again and rolling right into that. Uh, rolling into the Dallas Baptist match on, on Saturday? Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be a tough lineup right there. We, uh, we um, got Centenary, there's always good competition right there. And, uh, you know, it's practically a, a crosstown rivalry uh, playing them. You know, we feel like we're a suburb of the of them and uh, of course Dallas Baptist they're one of the one of the better teams in uh, division two uh, tennis so they're a scholarship program on the women's side the men's side uh, you know even though they're, they're a non-scholarship uh, team in the in their conference they're, they're a very strong men's team so you know we, we that that's one that one of the best uh, non-division three teams that we're going to play this year and it'll help us get ready for our uh, our conference matches all right coach thanks for talking to us here on the ETBU Sportsnet you're welcome